Hello guys, welcome to another session of learning with prep class. I am your tutor, Adindu. In this video, I will be solving section G, which has to do with questions 24 to 27 from our Ubosugo quantitative questions. After this video, you will have gained understanding on how to carefully select the correct answers when solving questions in quantitative. It's usually fun having you guys around. And I know today also will be a fun session. Do not forget to like and subscribe on our YouTube channel. You can go the extra mile of leaving a comment so we can communicate for effective learning. Without further ado, let's zoom in. Now, as said earlier on, we'll be solving session G, and this is a sample which will guide us through answering questions 24 to 27. Now, let's um, have a clear understanding on what this sample is telling us. If you look at this, we have a bracket having numbers 1, 1, 2, 3, plus another one having 2, 2, 3, 4, and the third one equal to 3, 3, 5, 7. So we need to come to an understanding how we got this answer, because only then can we be able to solve questions 24 to 27. So first, we're going to be using a trial and error method to get our answer established. So I would assume that 1 plus 2 gave us 3 here. That looks correct, yes? 1 plus 2 gave us 3. So I can also say 1 plus this 2 gave us 3. That's why we have 3, 3 in this bracket. So I can also come here and say 2 plus 3 gave us 5, and 3 plus 4 gave us 7. So I think this is true. So for us to come to an understanding if it is actually true, we'll try out other samples. Now, on this other sample, let's try it out. 1 plus 2 gave us 3. Yes, 1 plus 2 also equal to 3. That's correct. 2 plus 3 equal to 5, that's correct. 3 plus 4 equal to 7. Okay, I think this is true. So let's try out the third sample. 1 plus 2 is still equal to 3. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. And 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. So we've come to an understanding how we got this sample. And with this understanding, we'll be implementing it in questions 24 to 27. All right, let's move on. Question 24. So we have these two brackets, and we have the third bracket, but we have an empty space here which we need to fill in. So Using the understanding we gained from our sample, we said the first one plus the first one will give us equal to this first one. So 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. So 1 plus 2 should be equal to 3. So our answer here should be equal to 3. Let's check it out. So you can see it's 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. And this will be our answer. To test others, 1 plus 2 is still equal to 3. 1 plus 2 is still equal to 3. So the correct answer is 1 plus 2 equal to 3. So this box, 3 would be our answer here. Let's check it out. Question 24, option A, 3 is our answer. Let's look at the next question. Now, we also have question 25 here. And we have an empty box to fill in. So, still using the understanding from our sample, we should know this number here plus this number here would give us 16. Because we know 5 plus 7 is equal to 12. So, this number here plus this number here should give us equal to 16. So, how do we get this number here? Definitely, if this number here or the supposed number here and this is equal to 16, it means 16 minus 9 should give us the answer that ought to be here. Let's check it out. 
So box, the empty box plus 9 will give us 16. So it means 16 minus 9 will give us 7. So the number here ought to be 7. Because if we say 7 is the answer, which it is, we would say 7 plus 9 is equal to 16. So this box would be 7. Let's check out the correct answer. Question 25, option B, 7 is our correct answer. All right, let's move on to the next one. Question 26. Now, we have an empty space here which we need to fill, a box here which we need to fill, and going by the understanding we gain, we know 7 plus 1 will give us equal to 8, 2 plus 4 will give us equal to 6, so 1 plus 5 would give us the answer here. So let's check out our answer. So 1 plus 5 will give us 6. So 6 will be our answer because 3 plus 3 give us 6. So for, to find this answer here, it's going to be 1 plus 5, which is equal to 6. All right, let's check out the correct answer. So option E, 6 is our correct answer. All right, question 27. So we have an empty space here, a box here in which we are going to fill the answer. And we know going by uh, the understanding we gained from the sample, it will be 11 plus 6 equal to 17, 2 plus 5 equal to 7, 5 plus 7 equal to 12. So 1 plus what will give us equal to 29. So let's check out how best to do it. So 1 plus what will give us equal to 29. To get this done, we'll say 29 minus 1 will give us the answer that ought to be here. So 29 minus 1 is equal to 28. So if we try it again, 1 plus 28 will give us equal to 29. So our correct answer here will be 28. So 28 would be written here. Let's check it out. Question 27, option D, 28 is our correct answer. All right. This is how much we can take in today's video. I hope you had fun, because I had fun. The answers actually came by so easy, applying the sample as given. So I'm using this timeout to ask us to join our WhatsApp group where we can get updates about more videos and we can also comment on the previous videos we've seen. This is really fun having you guys around. So I come your way again. Bye.